So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here today on NBA 2K20. Today's video, we're going to be doing a Toronto Raptors offseason rebuild, but it's going to be kind of a little bit of a what if. We're going to be seeing what if Kawhi Leonard uh, did end up staying in Toronto. I know there was a period where he was definitely considering it, and then kind of in the final moments came down to like the Clippers or the Lakers. I think it would be an interesting dynamic. I mean, he was obviously only there for one year, won them a championship, and kind of just dipped. I mean, I don't think Raptors fans can be mad at him. He kind of brought them a championship. So, yeah, uh, we're going to see what happens if he re-signs today. Obviously, he's going to be a max deal kind of guy, franchise player, all that, yada, yada. So, I'm excited to see what we can do with this team today. Uh, I probably will make some other changes besides just re-signing Kawhi. Uh, definitely want to see who else I can get in here. Uh, Samuel Brown, you're fired, honestly. Nick Nair's not going anywhere. Adrian Griffin, he's won the championship. You have terrible ratings. Uh, there is an A trainer here, so let me hop on that. Randy Martin, head scout, James Graham, assistant coach for Nick Nurse. We'll go Trent Peterson. And then assistant GM, I'll just go Owen Master. So hopefully we get all these guys, uh, and we do after day one. So that's pretty much all I need there. Let's head up to the draft now. Um, let's see. Do we have a good pick? No, obviously we don't have a good pick. I was seeing if we had a first round pick. No, we do not. So um, paying Serge Ibaka twenty three million, just I don't know if that's it at all. Uh, along with Norman Powell, ten million. I mean Fred Van Vliet is worth it in real life. He just regresses so terribly in this game, and it honestly is one of the more annoying things. So let's see if I can maybe move up to get a first round pick. Uh, if I were to do Fred Van Vliet, I would love to keep Fred Van Vliet. He just literally straight up progresses and it makes no sense. And pick 29 uh, in the second round. Anyway, I can maybe get up to like pick 8 or 7. Uh, we can see whichever one of those pops up first. I, we'll try 5. How about if I just keep giving you seconds? Alright, uh, we'll just go down then from there. Uh, who has the 6th overall pick? That is going to be, that's a second round pick six. We'll try to go this way. Six is going to be the Phoenix Suns. They want to do that. Who has seven? Seven is the Washington Wizards. Seriously? That's kind of tough. I don't want to give up another first, which is like what I'm trying not to do. Who has the eighth overall pick? Eventually one of these will go through. It's the New Orleans Pelicans. Do they have nine too? Oh no, it's nine in the second round. Who has nine in the first round? Good Lord Almighty. Uh, that's the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, Christ alive. Maybe this just isn't going to happen today. All right, we get 10 from the Atlanta Hawks. Obviously not where I wanted to be starting out at 5, but we also clear up some money. Now, Kyle Lowry, I just don't know. Serge Ibaka is probably going to go. I understand this team works very real, well in real life. I'm, ooh, Montrezl Harrell. I'm pretty adapt to how teams work in this game at this point, and I think moving on from Serge Ibaka is definitely going to be a helpful thing there. Buddy Heald coming in here. I would not mind that at all. 20 points a game last year. I was between him. Oh, TJ Warren as well. Uh, I was between him and Montrez Harrell, but you know what? I think I'm going to go with Buddy Heald. We do have to give up a first. I'm honestly fine with that. We're going to get Bielitsa back as well, who I can definitely just trade for another first. Uh, so, yeah, let's get that out of the way. We're going to go ahead and trade him to... Could get Robert Williams. It's just a backup big guy. Um, ooh, to Robinson. I don't want to give him another first, though, especially only for a backup. Joe Harris... <laughs> All right, we are going to go ahead and we're just going to take Robert Williams. We're also going to get a second round pick. So we missed out on getting one first round pick back. I'm fine with it. We still do have the 10th overall pick in this draft. That's going to be very, very key. Let's see who's gone so far. Zion, Garland, Morant, Culver, RJ Barrett fell a lot. Um, so let's just see who's on the board for us here. Cam Reddish is obviously still here. Could use him, except I'm going to re-sign Kawhi. And Cam Reddish is more of a small four than a shooting guard. I could move him... We'll see what we end up doing there. Um, Romeo Langford is here as well, who was gonna be at one point a top five prospect before he got hurt. Tyler Hero. No, let's take Tyler Hero. Cool. Welcome to the team. Sharpshooter off the bench has obviously been one of the better rookies in the NBA this year. So welcome to the team. He's only going to be a 73 overall. I'm still fine with him being, uh, you know, on this team. So I'm going to bring back everybody. Gasol ends up taking that player option. I don't know if I'm going to trade him or not. I could give him one more year. It ultimately depends how he does. Uh, in the regression department. So for resigning Kawhi Leonard is number one priority right now. Uh, Miller and Boucher, I'm just going to get out of the way. First round pick from Philadelphia. So it's simple enough. On from that, I think, yeah, uh, Jody Meeks and Eric Moreland. And then that's pretty much it for guys we do have to trade or guys I want to trade. Uh, we'll just take our first round pick from the New York Knicks unprotected. That could end up being something very, very big. So I'll take that for two scrubs. Qualifying, we're going to do nothing there. So let's head up to free agency. Um, Definitely a big one. Uh, if Kawhi does not end up resigning, I'm just going to go ahead and put him back on this team. I believe he probably will end up resigning. Yeah, we're far and away his biggest offer. 
Kawhi Leonard, welcome back to the team. So it is unfortunate Danny Green is gone, but we did just pick up two new small forwards, or two new shooting guards, so Tyler Hero, Buddy Heald, so kind of works out. So Kawhi Leonard, welcome back to the team. Uh, we obviously do have Pascal Siakam as well, and then Mike, or not Mike Conley, excuse me, Kyle Lowry is here, who I think can give us definitely at least one more solid year. Is he a free agent after this year? Oh, he is. Okay. See, now I might look to trade him, just because he's a free agent after this year. And I think, honestly, he could do some better somewhere else. Especially if I was to look for another point guard, because that's really what I'd be looking for here. I'd be willing to give up some picks, too. Um, Eric Bledsoe, Mike Conley. I feel like Mike Conley would make sense, but he's also free agent. After this year. Oh, he has a team option. Okay. So this is, like, not the biggest. This is more of a lateral move, but I think at the end of the day, just because he has the team option next year, it's going to help. We'll give up another first and a second from Boston along. We'll also get Kyle Anderson back. That's going to help in a deal. So Mike Conley, welcome to Toronto. Uh, going to be our new starting point guard here for at least one year. So both of these guys, unfortunately, going to get traded. OG Ananobi and Kyle Anderson. Uh, I need a backup power forward. I need a backup point guard. So it's just going to happen. Um, I'm going to look to trade Ananobi. I don't want to trade him. He's just never going to play. The dude is straight up a small forward. And honestly, I'm never going to use a backup small forward. So... We'll see what we got here. Uh, Shabazz Napier for OG Ananobi. I just don't know if that's the best value. Uh, Jakob Pertl is what we're going to do. Welcome back to Toronto. And then I'm just going to move Robert Williams down to that backup power forward spot where he can play. He actually goes up to a 77 overall. And now Kyle Anderson going to be get traded, getting traded for a point guard. So let's see what we got there. Uh, ooh, J.J. Redick. You know what? Give me some J.J. Redick. Tyler Hero is going to go to the G League for a year. That's actually smart. J.J. Redick will probably regress to like a 78, 77, but he's honestly not going to lose his shooting ability, so I'm more than fine with that. Um, let's see now. So I need to sign a backup point guard. I think I probably should still have a mid-level exception, something like that. Uh, nothing unbelievable, unfortunately. Ah, oh, boy. All right, Yogi Ferrell. Ugh. You know what? Just give me T.J. McConnell. Honestly, for two, for a year, it's fine. I can work on it next offseason. Not even going to be playing that much. And now the final thing to kind of look at with this team is, do I want to trade Marcus Gasol, who is a free agent at the end of this year? I'd do that. Actually, I'm not going to do this next pick. I'm going to do two first-round picks here. Uh, just seeing what we can kind of get in the center department, if I see anybody good. Whiteside is locked up. And he's he hasn't taken the overall hit. He hasn't. Ooh, Nikola Vucevic, actually, is probably what I'm going to go with. Miles Turner is another really solid option. Same with Yusuf Nurkic and Steven Adams. But you know what? Let's go ahead. Take Nikola Vucevic. We do have to give up two first-round picks. So we are kind of losing a lot of first-round picks. Those are pretty easy to get back, though. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so, yeah, that is going to be the rotation for the start of season number one. I'll see you guys there. So, year number one, this is how the rotation is going to look. Mike Conley, Buddy Heald, our new backcourt. I'm actually pretty excited to see what they can do alongside Kawhi Leonard, who, you know, ended up resigning. Going to be playing 37 minutes a night. Far and away, our best player, franchise player here, not going anywhere. Pascal Siakam has kind of developed as the Raptors franchise player here in real life, but that's only really because of Kawhi Leonard's absence. I mean, he obviously showed some serious improvements in his game last year, winning most improved. Very well could be a back-to-back -back most improved player. I don't know if that's even ever happened before but i still think he's going to be kind of the number two guy here going forward he's probably not going to show it very well in the scoring department his tendencies are very messed up and honestly i don't know how to change his tendencies i tried once it didn't work so if somebody knows how to do that feel free to let me know and then nicole vucevic coming in here a good rebounding center can definitely score the basketball as well uh next to the guy alexi Ogden was pretty solid at defense and then Kawhi Leonard makes up for that a little bit where vucevic does lack bench jj reddick did regress one overall point i'm fine with that he's going to be a 79 overall Six man sharpshooter, don't need anything else from him. Jakob Pertl, welcome back from your short stint there in San Antonio. Going to be our nice backup center for us. Robert Williams, uh, also going to be a backup big man for us. And then TJ McConnell, going to be the only backup guard we have coming, or excuse me, backup point guard we have coming off the bench. Where I'm honestly excited to see what we can do. I definitely think this team can do big things, potentially go back to back. I'll see you guys at the end of the first year. So, pretty solid first year. Uh, Kawhi won MVP, we went 73 and 9. Not much more you can uh, ask for in a first season. Zion, Rookie of the Year, he ended up on the Chicago Bulls, Colin Sexton, Sixth Man, Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player of the Year, Malik Monk, Most Improved, Nick Nurse. Uh, yeah, Coach of the Year for us, 73-9, kind of hard not to name him Coach of the Year. So, a very impressive year. Uh, 65 wins for the Philadelphia 76ers, who added Pat Beverly and Kevin Durant. Okay. Um, what? That's going to be a fucking battle of an Eastern Conference Finals whenever we get to that. Kawhi, Mike Conley, solid, Buddy Heald, Vucevic, Siakam, who, again, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, probably should be, you know, you would think our second leading scorer, just, no, not going to happen. Uh, we got Orlando here in the first round. 
who I believe they faced in the first round uh, when they won the finals last year in real life. Uh, I believe they actually gave them a little bit of a run for their money at one point. I think they lost the first game to Orlando. I'm not positive about that one, but we sweep them here. Nonetheless, round number two, we're going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, not an easy matchup at all. Trey Young is a very up and coming guy in this league, and he's not going to be here. Excuse me, he's going to be good for a very, very long time. We're up three one on them. We end up winning in five. Can the Bulls please? Oh, the Bulls almost knocked off the Sixers. That would have been huge. Oklahoma City and LA over there. Yeah, we get swept by the Philadelphia 76ers after going seventy three and nine. So that 76ers team is going to be something to look out for. Embiid, Simmons, Kevin Durant, Pat Beverly. I mean, there's just not much I'm going to be able to do with that. But I'm going to give him my L. Um, if these kind of things happen and re rebuilds quite a bit, honestly. So let's head up to staff signing, make sure Nick Nurse is still here. He is. We're all set there. Uh, up to the NBA draft. I believe we do have the next pick. I'm not positive in that department. It might be the next year's pick. Nope, it's this year's. It's going to be the sixth overall pick for us. That's going to be very, very nice. Tyler Hero's up to a 79 overall. I'm just kind of going to fill in JJ Reddick's shoes eventually at some point. Um, so not much I can do in the trade department right now. If I were to trade Vucevic, pick six and 22... John Morant's here. Okay. Uh, Boogie and pick four. Kemba Walker. Okay, more offers than I thought I was going to get. John Morant, I honestly might do. Just because, I mean, DeMarcus Cousins is an 87 overall, and it's not every day you get him at an 87 overall, especially with also getting the fourth overall pick. So that's kind of why I want to do that. You know what? I feel like I can get Boogie easier. All right, we're taking John Morant and Hassan Whiteside for this deal. Uh, John Moran is going to be our new starting point guard. Uh, I do not believe we have any picks anymore, which I'm totally fine with. Let's head up to team player options now. Uh, see what we're working with there. Mike Conley I am going to bring back and then end up moving. Robert Williams is going to come back as well. Qualifying, healed Siakam and Pirtle. This is a big free agency class. All 2016, I believe. Got to make sure we hit those because um, if we don't, we're screwed. So Conley is going to get traded. Um, Low-key, we actually might have some money here. Uh, Mike Conley is going to get traded. Um, can I trade him and Whiteside? Jimmy Butler. Could move Jimmy Butler to shooting guard. Uh, or I could just move D'Angelo Russell to shooting guard. All right, so we do have some options here. Uh, CJ McCollum and Yusuf Nurkic. Jimmy Butler, what, how bad will his overall take a hit if I move him to shooting guard? I feel like I just get D'Angelo Russell a lot nowadays. You know what, let's take Jimmy Butler. Um, we are losing a center, though. That is something I cannot forget. Um, shoot. If I were to just trade calmly, what are my options? I can get Jimmy Butler still. Okay, that's what I needed to know, I guess. Welcome to the team, Jimmy Butler. Uh, you're going to go down to shooting guard. Only an 89 overall, not the end of the world. Uh, him and Kawhi Leonard hopefully are going to play very, very nice next to each other. Uh, and then White says just kind of a rebounding presence at this point, honestly. So Anthony Davis is here. Yeah, I didn't think the money was really going to work there. All right, um, Bird writes on Siakam. I'm going to give him the offer. Even if he gets his qualifying, I'm more than fine with that. Buddy Heald, I do not want to get his qualifying offer, so that would suck. And then Yaka Pirtle. So, Buddy Heald, we're not going to announce the rights on. I will wait till after free agency, or after moratorium, excuse me, to sign him. I don't know why this game likes to glitch out and literally make guys basically get their qualifying unless you sign them after moratorium. So, uh, that's going to be the case for Siakam and Pirtle. They're both going to get those qualifying offers, restricted free agents. Buddy Heald's going to go to the Hawks. I'm just going to match that. You can see it's matched right there. If it says he goes to the Hawks, I'm going to put him back on my team. It didn't anyway. So we're cool there. Um, at this point in time, I don't really know what position we technically really need that much. None, really, if we're being honest. Um, the only thing I can think of is like maybe making a trade for a really good center. Except the thing is, I just don't have any picks. Just straight up, I just don't. Um, if I were to trade Son Whiteside and Buddy Heald, what do I get? Um, I see, I don't think I'm going to get anything that crazy, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, nothing here that I really want to do. All right. Basically means Buddy Hill is going to be our new six man. What on God's green? Why did it just turn all blurry? Okay. Well, um, I need to restart this game. I'll be back. So, uh, yeah, not really sure what happened there. Um, what the hell? Okay, now they're all back. I don't know what's going on with this game right now, but it just glitched the fuck out, and that was super weird. But, um, yeah, uh, Tyler Hero's going to get traded for a backup point guard. Then we're all set. I don't really think Tyler Hero can play point guard. If I move him there, he is a 76, which just he's not a natural point guard. He's a sharpshooter off the bench. So, Tyler Hero, I wanted to use him, and it's unfortunate it didn't work out in the way I wanted it to to let me use him. 
Uh, RJ Hampton, I'm honestly probably just going to take, let him develop. So, unless I see anybody. Ooh. Yeah, I just can't do that, though. Um, Kobe White as well could be an option. But, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, take RJ Hampton. We're also going to get another first-round pick back, which is going to be key because I do. And I'm kind of lacking on those. So, yeah, that's nine, guys. We're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of year number two of the rotation. So, year number two, this is how the rotation is going to look. John Morant and Jimmy Butler is our new backcourt. Both new faces here. I think it's an upgrade, personally, in my opinion. Kawhi Leonard still are going to be our starting small forward. He's not going anywhere. Siakam here. Uh, and then Whiteside is going to be the new guy here. He does have a year. Uh, excuse me, I believe another option after or another year after this. Yeah, he's more than one. So he's probably going to get traded. I just kind of want to give him some time here. I just need a good defensive rebounding center. That's all I really need, and he definitely fits both of those. Uh, Buddy Heald going to be our new six man. I think, without a doubt, he's better than J.J. Redick or Tyler Hero, whoever was going to be it. And then the rest of the lineup is basically the same with Pirtle and Williams and the new addition here in R.J. Hampton, who... Hopefully can develop. So that's the team. Uh, Hampton was the 14th overall pick. Wow, he definitely fell. He's supposed to be like a top five pick in real life, I'm pretty sure. But excited to see how this team team can do. Excuse me. I'll see you guys at the end of the second year. Oh, God, it's fucking cold in here. So when are your number two? Same record as last year. Nicole Jokic, MVP, though. Uh, those stats definitely, definitely earned it. Cole Anthony, rookie of the year. He ended up on the Miami Heat. I feel like he always went to Miami. Uh, he was the second overall pick. Colin Sexton, six man. Anthony Davis, even the player of the year. He's on the Atlanta Hawks. Don't get that. Cam Reddish most improved on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Nick Nurse, coach of the year once again. So kind of the same story as last year. Uh, I kind of helped our case a little bit, taking away Jimmy Butler uh, from this team. I did give them Mike Conley, though. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, it's just ridiculous at this point. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, player stats on the year led in scoring by Kawhi Leonard. Holy hell. Uh, John Morant, Jimmy Butler, Buddy Heald off the bench, Siakam, Whiteside, I and mean, That's all I really want from Whiteside. If I can maybe turn him into a Rudy Gobert, I'm definitely going to do it, though. So we got Boston here in the first round. Definitely not an easy matchup, uh, to say the least. We are up 2 0. 3 0. Yes, it is. And can we just sweep them? Thank you very much. Round number two here. Don't give me Giannis. Just okay, they gave me Giannis. Uh, I guess if anybody's going to be able to play defense on him, though, it is going to be Kawhi Leonard. So not an easy matchup again. We're up 3 0, though, somehow. We win 4-0. Oh, my God, and Atlanta beat Philadelphia for me. That is just awesome. I'm pretty sure we're going to beat Atlanta. So Denver or Houston is going to be who we're playing. No, no, no. Don't don't make me eat my words right after. Okay, thank God. We're playing Denver here uh, in the NBA Finals. Let's check. I'm dyslexic. Of course, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, Nicole Yoga, MVP, Michael Porter Jr., Emmanuel Moody, age your third best player. You should not win a single game. Um, just, okay, seriously. Just trying to be straight up honest. Uh, going in here to game five here on our home floor in Toronto. Come on. I wanted to hop in and close them out in our own building, but I guess that's probably not going to be the case here. Yeah, no, we're not winning that one. All right. Well, back to Denver here for game six. Uh, if we could get it. Seriously? Is Nicole Jokic just bullying the shit out of Hassan Whiteside? Because that's what it's looking like. All right. Three-point game. I'll see you guys in there. So about three minutes left, I believe. Um, yeah, we do not have the ball. This team is playing pretty much above how they should be, in my opinion. Uh, Jimmy Butler here on Monte Morris. I did just get the starters in. I definitely... Who's not in that's a starter? Will Barton. Kind of looks like Paul George. Um, who's not in that's a starter? Kawhi's in. Whiteside's in. Um, so John, John Morant's basically not in. So I'm fine with that. Uh, he's. I, I do obviously want him to come in at some point. Uh, Jimmy Butler right down to the, not where I was going at all. Siakam, can we just back down whoever the hell this is? Let's turn. Uh, why? 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 Why are you doing a fadeaway? Go to the rim. Go. No, no, no. Okay. Just like that, I blow the lead. That uh, that happens. I don't know who that is. I blow the lead. Jimmy Butler, 19 points tonight. I got to utilize Kawhi Leonard, who has 36. Not what I was trying to do. Whiteside with the putback, thank you very much. That was not what I was trying to do. I was trying to drive right by whoever that was with Jimmy, but Whiteside's got me there. Uh, with the putback, putting us back up by one here. Jimmy Butler, you just got to play good defense here on Monte Morris. That's all I really ask from you. The Nuggets are going to take a timeout. 2.51 left to go here in game six. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, we're being honest. we got a 3-2 series lead right now, but that's not looking like it's going to be enough. This team is very, very good. Uh, they're playing very well, very, very well, I should might add. Kawhi Leonard, player of the game, 36 points in the night. Yeah, no, 36 points in the night. I might add 12-20 from the field, pretty solid. So, John Morant here, going to be the new guy on Emmanuel Moutier. Whiteside, oh my, seriously, Ja? I'm going to pull you out of this game so goddamn fast, I will send you back. To fucking Memphis. Actually, you weren't technically. Actually, were you in Memphis? No, you weren't. You never made it to Memphis because this was an off-season rebuild. All right. Siakam, come on. John Morant, just go up and just. 
bro, it's just not what I'm trying to do. White side, put back Siakam. Thank you very much. It's not what I'm trying to do. I want a John Morant to just dunk all over Nicole Jokic, and that just didn't end up happening. I don't need a replay. I was, I played it. I know what happened. All right, Emmanuel Moutier is kind of dancing all over me a little bit. Good foul, White side. Uh, I'll take that. That's going to probably go in. So I'll maul. I'll maul him. All right. Come on. Like, let's go. Emmanuel Moody at the free throw line here. First one is up, and it is good. Uh, 217 left. Please miss the second one. Just keep this a tie ball game. Come on. And second free throw is up, and looks like it's going to be going in as well. So back to being down one. I guess the foul wasn't a good foul. Uh, obviously going to try to utilize Kawhi Leonard here a little bit. Kawhi Leonard goes up, misses the layup. White side with the putback. White side's been playing very well. He's got 15 boards on the night now. Maybe I will have to keep him. But I feel like any big man could do it. Like, I feel like Gobert could definitely do that too. So, Moutier's just been murdering me on ball. I'm just going to play off ball on white side. Good good defense, good board white side. All right, still up by one point here. Jimmy Butler, can you just, like, drive past somebody for the love of God? Give me an and one there, Gary Harris, with the foul. All right, we, we can hit, need to hit two free throws here and make it a three-point game. That would be very, very big. All right, come on. Jimmy Butler, first free throws up and is going to be good. I'm not sure what's going on out there. Uh, Jimmy Butler, can we get the second free throw? And it is good as well. Cool. Two for two from the charity stripe for him, giving us a three-point game. Oh, excuse me, three-point lead here in game six. John Morant, I don't really want to play on ball D with if we're being, if we're being honest here. Uh, so I'm just going to use Siakam, try to close in the paint here if I have to. Maybe get some little double help on Jokic if it comes to it. Kind of slide off here. Don't want to get that three seconds, though. Let's get a good board here. Whiteside gets it. 17 boards with him on the night now. Let's push it up to Kawhi. Nope. I don't know what I was doing there. Right back into Ka Oh, my God. Kawhi Leonard is going to go up and get the life to go. I don't know what on God's green earth was happening there. Uh, that's a 38 piece for Kawhi right now, though. Definitely not complaining about that one. But this one's still not over in the slightest. Uh, still going to kind of play user defense here on Nicole Jokic with Hassan Whiteside. Uh, looks like they're trying to clear out the paint a little bit. Going to go get a board. Whiteside 18 on the night now. Let's run it up to Jimmy Butler. Blow by Gary Harrison, go up and get the layup to go. I thought he was going to dunk it, and I was going to be much more hype. But that's a seven-point game. I'm going to do one more defensive possession and probably call it. Jimmy Butler over here uh, is going to be on Gary Harris. Oh, my God, good steal. Whiteside, Siakam, Leonard, go up. Kawhi Leonard with the layup. I'll see you boys with Kawhi Leonard's finals MVP. So I'm assuming, yeah. Oh, wow, John Moran actually wins finals MVP. 24 points, four rebounds, seven assists, two steals. Not what I was expecting, but hey, good for him. So third and final year here. Uh, I'm trying to repeat. We obviously didn't win one last year, or the first year, so let's try to repeat. Nick Nurse, you want to come back? I'd be more than happy to. Welcome back to Toronto. Uh, up to the NBA draft now. I don't think we have anything really in the pick. To, oh, I thought that was the sixth overall pick. I was like, yo, no way. But it's going to swap that for two future seconds from New York. Let's head up to team player options now. Uh, John Morant, Robert Williams, both of you, welcome back to the team qualifying. We have none. I don't really think we have any big free agents. Uh, per se, I think we're kind of just good. Uh, let me check that out. Um, oh, never mind, we do. Um, Pascal Siakam is a free agent, and he's unrestricted. Damian Lillard made the free agency. Um, I don't have enough money for Dame, do I? Yeah, I didn't think so. He's no longer interested in negotiating with us. All right, Pascal Siakam, if you want to come back, I would obviously appreciate it. Same goes with Jakob Pertl. Uh, unfortunately, we are paying these guys more than we would have paid them last year, but again, it's not the end of the world. It's just because the game's broken and... Like Siglitz, Jakob Pertl, Pascal Siakam, welcome back to Toronto. You're both going to be very much used here. Uh, there are a lot of loaded free agents there. So 2021 free agency, it's going to be something to watch. Um, so let's see what we got right now. That's about it. I might try to see if I can improve Whiteside maybe for, I don't even know, for being honest. I doubt Embiid's going to happen. Is he untouchable? You're not going to, ooh. Jimmy Butler for Joel Embiid. You know what? I'm doing that. Welcome to the team. Um, yes, I, it's probably not the best move in the world, but I honestly think I can probably trade back for Jimmy Butler if I were to give up um, Hassan Whiteside. Raptors require $5 million more. Um, you can honestly have Yaka Pertle too. I think this is definitely a move here. I don't have a... Oh, my God. Jimmy Butler, welcome back to the six. All right. Um... I now need a backup center and a backup point guard. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but I can live with it if this is going to be how it's going to. If this is how it's going to go, so actually, McGee just regresses seriously hard. Uh, give me Plumley, Mason Plumley. Welcome to the. Nope. 
Almost. I cannot believe I just traded for Joel Embiid. Uh, Mason Plumley, welcome to Toronto. And the point guard department, like, give me Delavadova, I guess. I don't really care. Ever, a fan favorite. He's literally going to be playing 10 minutes a night. It's not even that big of a deal. Matthew Delavadova, welcome to Toronto. This is the new team. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you guys, the start of the third and final year. So third and final year here, this actually might be the best team I've had so far here in 2K20. John Morant, Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard, Pascal Siakam, and Joel Embiid. Still not sure how Embiid ended up here, but hey, I'm not complaining. Buddy healed our sixth man, Robert Williams, Mason Plumlee, then Matthew Delvedova. So these two kind of suck, but I'll suck it up for the third and final season. Let's look to repeat. I'll catch you guys at the end of season number three. So John Morant wins MVP here at the end of the third and final year. We go 65 and 17, so our worst record yet, even though we think we had the best team. Doesn't really make much sense. Morant does get a double-double. Uh, Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year for the Sacramento Kings. Anthony Edwards, sixth man, ended up in Phoenix. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year in Atlanta. Still don't get that one. Kevin Porter Jr., Most Improved. Nick Nurse, still three-time Coach of the Year. So, cannot complain about that. We've been a one seed every single year. This team, far and away, is probably one of my better rebuilds, if we're being honest. So, let me know that down below, please. Kawhi Leonard, John Morant, Joel Embiid, Buddy Heald, who scored more points than Jimmy Butler, but still want Butler in there for the defensive presence. Uh, Siakam. Is what it is with his tendencies. Rebound went to Embiid, assist went to Morant. So, first round here, we got the Indiana Pacers. Uh, I would obviously like to, you know, beat them. We are up 2 0 right now. And if, if this game just needs to go faster, just straight up. I don't know why it gets slower every year. It makes literally no sense. Uh, we sweep Indiana in round number one. Round number two, here we got Boston. It's going to be bottom of the East. It's going to be uh, Atlanta and Philadelphia. Either of which I don't mind playing. We've taken two of Philadelphia's best players now. Uh, well, technically, we don't have Ben Simmons or Kevin Durant, who for some reason decided to sign with Philly, but still, you get the point. A little bit of a revenge tour here for Joel Embiid. Uh, see if we can finally get him a champion. Actually, I think he won one in the first year. He might have. I don't even know, to be honest. We sweep Philadelphia, us and the Phoenix Suns. I don't even care who's on the Suns. We're going to win. No way. The Suns have been my kryptonite before. It's not happening again. Don't do it to me. There we go. We win in seven. Kawhi Leonard finals MVP. So... This is kind of a what if Kawhi Leonard stayed rebuilt. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like down below. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe. Uh, how many 90s did we end up with? At least five. Um, I don't think Buddy Heald got there. No, he did not. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know that down below in the comments section along with what any other rebuilds. Uh, with the Isaiah Thomas rebuild, how do you want me to do it? Do you want me to download old rosters when he was here or just kind of put him on the team right now? Whatever you want, please feel free to let me know along with any other video ideas. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.